Jeff, thanks. More than three out of every four homeowners would rather renovate their current home than dive into the tight, expensive housing market. Here to help us prevent renovation devastation, we have our friend Steve Miller with Units Moving and Portable Storage of Cincinnati. This coincides, of course, if you're going to the Home and Garden Show this weekend, right. getting ideas for remodel. I think probably that the biggest remodel headache has to be the kitchen. It's the kitchen. Kitchens and living rooms are two of the top three okay. um, places people want to want to do renovations. Because that's where we spend most of our time, and yeah. if that place is, you know, cut off for a little bit, you got some issues. Exactly, exactly. So, so. Uh, break us down here. One, two, three, four, five uh, top tips. The top tips, store your items. If you're you're going to want to organize, uh, store your items correctly. So you're going to start with clothes, books, uh, documents. Uh, miscellaneous items right. and the photos. Do the photos last because you'll well, get hung up on those if you start doing And them. some of these items you still need to be using. You do. So, so show way to store them that we could get some easy access maybe to so, them too. Well, if you're doing a, a kitchen renovation, what you're going to do is set up almost like a mini kitchen. Yeah. Um, in maybe your living room to have your refrigerator, microwave, uh, so you have access to that. Uh, I, I, I've seen people like with a, a big old like Rubbermaid tin just for washing dishes in. Yes. So yeah. always keep um, plastic bins. Okay. Um, plastic bins are a good source for, for items, uh -huh. especially if you're going to have a unit container in your driveway. If you pack everything up in boxes, you don't know know what's in those boxes so if you have plastic tins see-through tins you can see what's in well show, open up, show, show us a little bit like we were stacking some of this sort of stuff here because I mean sure. I am I know it sounds very uh, easy to step with I am the worst at organizing but I, I feel like I leave dead space in there sure well I mean I don't have a lot of items right, right here right. but you know you would just toss everything in there so you could see it uh, maybe okay. books heavy items on the bottom maybe um, the stuff you don't need on the bottom the stuff you're gonna need to get to absolutely. On the top. yes absolutely you brought some packaging yeah, uh, and items one here. thing you're gonna want to do is you, during a renovation um, it's dusty it's dirty mm -hmm. contractors going in and out you're gonna you're going to want to pack like you're moving. Okay. So have packing blankets available, uh, straps, tape, lock for the unit container, and packing material. Where can we get a lot of stuff? I mean, I, sometimes when I got furniture delivered, they left me the, the, the blankets. They're so like, here, you can have these. You might need them for some of it, which is nice. So yes. I, you might have some of that laying around, but where can we find some of these items? Well, we rent uh, blankets and ratchet straps oh, that's great. when you, when you uh, rent a unit container. Okay. Uh, we rent those. Um, and you can find them at uh, hardware stores if, if you're looking. Why, why spring? The, the, the time of year that we really dive into? Is it because we've been so cooped up and we yeah. want to get into it? I, I think that's a big part of it. And you're going to want to put a lot of your stuff outside. Yeah. Like I said, if we deliver a unit container to you, so you know, when you go outside and pack up a container, you don't want it to be 30 below. Yeah. You want it to be 60 to 70 degrees. The same reason why people move in it, the it, springtime. Exactly. Yeah. Later Spring season. and summer. We contact you, Steve, to get more information if we have some uh, storage uh, you know, issues we want to get taken sure. care of. The easiest way is on my website, which is uh, www.unitscincinnati.com. Steve, good, good information. Appreciate it. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks for coming so much. in. Uh, how can people learn more? Well, that, I just asked you that. See, I just pulled the Ron <laughs> Burgundy moment. I mean, you're just reading what's on the screen. I'm Frank Marzullo. We're back after this.